Hi guys, welcome back to Wondershare Recovery, a professional data recovery data solution designed to recover deleted files from different storage solutions. Once again, we're back with another episode where we'll be talking about a common error that many macOS users encounter on their systems. If you've ever seen the, the file couldn't be opened because you don't have the permission to view it error on your MacBook or iMac, you know what we're talking about. Usually when users see this error, they end up feeling overwhelmed and don't know what to do. So if you're stuck in a similar situation, well, we're here to help. In this episode, we'll walk you through the different ways to fix a JPEG file that you are unable to open on macOS. But before we go any further, make sure to hit that subscribe button to the Wondershare Recovery channel so that you never miss out on any future videos. So what does the JPEG file permission error mean? And more importantly, why do Mac users encounter it on their Mac devices? In general, the error gets triggered when you try to open a JPEG file, which you don't have the required permissions for. Now, the reason why you don't have these permissions can vary depending on the situation. In general, here are some of the most common reasons behind the no permissions error for a JPEG file. Firstly, the image that you're trying to open is locked by another admin user. The second reason could be that you don't have the root access to open that particular file. Thirdly, the JPEG file might be infected by either malware or viruses. And lastly, the storage device that you are using for that particular file might have been corrupted. So what can you do to fix the no permissions error? Well, since there are different factors that can trigger the said problem, you have to resort to different solutions to fix it. Here are some of the working solutions that you can allow and enable the file permissions and have access to your desired JPEG files without encountering any errors. The first method is to try to verify the sharing and permissions on your Mac. To do this, here's what you need to do. Open system preferences on your Mac, then choose the sharing option. From the left panel, opt for file sharing and expand the shared folders. Choose users followed by everyone. Lastly, select read and write option from the drop-down menu. As mentioned earlier, hard drive related issues can also trigger the JPEG file cannot be opened error. Fortunately, macOS has its own disk utility program that will allow you to validate the hard drive's health and eliminate any logical errors. Here's how you can run the disk utility application on your MacBook or iMac. If you're using an Intel Mac, restart your computer and press and hold the Command plus R keys. If you're using an Apple Silicon Mac, turn on your Mac and continue to press and hold the power button until you see the startup options. Then click the gear icon labeled options and then click continue. From the utilities window in the Mac OS recovery, select disk utility and then click continue. Then select the hard drive in the next window and choose first aid. Wait for the repair to complete and you're done. If your JPEG files still won't open due to the permissions error, the last resort would be to recover these files using Wondershare Recover It. As we mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, Wondershare Recover It is a professional data recovery solution that lets users recover deleted files from different storage devices. However, you can also use this tool to recover corrupt or damaged files on both Windows and Mac OS. Let's walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure to recover corrupted JPEG files on Mac OS using Wondershare Recover It. Start by installing Wondershare Recover It on your Mac and launch the software to get started. On its home screen, click on the location where these JPEG files are stored. As soon as you have selected the location, Wondershare Recover It will automatically start scanning it to find all of the deleted or damaged files. Wait for a few minutes as this scanning process can take a while to complete depending on the size of your storage device. After the scanning process completes, go through the search results and select the files that you want to get back. Finally, click on the recover button to recover the selected files and store them safely on your system. 
So that's a wrap on another episode where we showed you different methods on how to troubleshoot the file couldn't be opened because you don't have the permission to view it error in Mac OS. If you've been struggling to access JPEG files on your system, well, we hope that these methods have helped you rectify that situation. In case you face any issues while implementing these methods, then please do let us know down in the comments below. And also make sure that if you found this video helpful to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell to the Wondershare Recover It channel. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.